In this video, we are going to see how to work with worksheets like insert, delete, rename, copy, move, color the worksheets. Let's see those one by one. I have a worksheet, let's say working with worksheets and Jan, Feb, March, April. These are the names of the worksheets. Now I want to create a worksheet or I want to insert a worksheet. How do I do that? So you see, I just need to click on the worksheet, right click on this option and you can see the first option is given as insert. So the moment you click on insert, you'll get a dialog box. It will ask you, what do you want to insert? Do you want to insert a worksheet, a chart or different options? I'll select the worksheet and click on OK. The sheet which I've selected, a new sheet will be added before that sheet. So I'll click on OK. You see there's a sheet added. So now it is sheet 11. Now, if you want to rename a sheet, how do you do that? Same option. So just right click on this sheet 11. And you see the option as rename. So when you click on rename, your cursor clips on blinking on this option. So sheet 11. So I'll delete the name and I'll type a new name as new sheet and enter. So now I've created a new sheet named as new sheet. Now, if I want to delete a sheet, again, the same method, right click on this new sheet and you see the option as delete. So once you click on delete, this sheet will be deleted. So this is how you can insert, rename and delete the worksheet insert delete rename a worksheet let's see the next one how do we copy and move a worksheet to a new workbook let's see now i have a sheet named as jan i want to copy this sheet to another workbook so how do i do that so same method right click on this sheet and you see there's an option as move and copy move and copy so copy is like copy paste move means cut paste so first i'll select for copying so i'll select this copy method so this sheet will be copied. I want it in a new book, let's say new book. And I want to create a copy. So Jan sheet will be created a copy in a new book. Once I click on OK, you see there's a new file created, the book three, and the sheet which I've copied from there is been add, added here. The name of the sheet is Jan. So right now I don't need this, so I'll just close this. Don't save. Similarly, if I want to copy the sheet in the same place, in the same file, so how do I do that? Right click on this Jan, move or copy. Now I want to copy this sheet into the same file, that is video one file and I'll select as create a copy. Where is the location you want? So I'll say I want a location on this Jan. So Jan sheet, a copy will be created before this Jan. So let's see a duplicate sheet will be created. I'll click on OK. Now you see there's a Jan 2. So there's a duplicate sheet which is created. So now if I want to delete a sheet, we have seen how to go for it. So just right click on the sheet and you can just click on delete. So the sheet is deleted. Next we have how do we cut paste? Suppose I want to cut this sheet from this file and I want to paste into a new file. How do I do that? So I'll just right click on the sheet and I'll click on move and copy. Now I want to cut it. So I'll select this. I'll go to the new book, a new book. Now I'll not select this option that is create a copy because I want to cut this and I'll click on OK. So the file will be deleted. I'm so sorry. So the sheet will be deleted. OK. And book four is a new file name and the Jan, uh, Jan sheet has been pasted here. Now let's see whether the sheet is deleted. You see there's no Jan now present only Feb, March, April, May. So that sheet has been cut from here and it has been pasted into a new file. Let's see the next one we have, hiding and unhiding worksheets. Right now, how do we hide a worksheet? It's simple, just right click on the sheet and you see the option as hide. So the moment you click on hide, the Feb sheet will be hidden. Hide, the sheet will be hidden. So now if you want to unhide the sheet, how do you do that? Right click on the sheet and you can see as unhide option. So when you click on unhide, you'll get a dialog box. The reason you're getting a dialog box is there might be multiple sheets which are hidden. Which sheet you want to unhide? Right now, I'll open this dialog box because I have hidden only one sheet. So it will asking me to unhide only one sheet. I have no other option rather than selecting this and I have to click on OK. So once I click on OK, you see the sheet has been brought back. So that is the Feb sheet. So that is how you hide and unhide worksheets. Next is how do you change a sheet color that is very simple and very very useful because if you see here it's difficult to find out which is the other sheet which which sheet is colored all of the same color there's no color. So I'll just right click on Feb and I'll select the tab color 
and you can choose whichever color you want. So I'll select here, let's say yellow color. I'll move to March, right click on the sheet, tab color and I'll select this red color. April, right click. Now I'll select some other color, let's say blue color and okay. So this is the way by which you can color the sheets. That means the sheet tabs itself. So that is how you can do it. Next we have and very important topic which you have formatting worksheets after grouping. Now I'll give you a scenario in a company. Suppose you are into some HR department. You are going to prepare 12 different sheets. Let's say Jan to December. Your manager has told you to create 12 sheets which should have same format but it should have different data. So how do we do that? Normally we do just do as copy paste to different sheets but I'll give a shortcut trick method by which you can do just by one click. How do how can we do uh, go for that? How can we go for that? Let's see now. I have some sheets created here. Let's say Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June. So I have almost five months. Now in this five sheets, I'll create one kind of format and different data. So how do I do that? So you see that there are the steps given here. So how do I do that? So I'll just select all the sheets. Those are five sheets, Feb, March, April, May, June. So I have selected this Feb, March, April, May, June. All five sheets I've selected. How do I come to know that I've selected the sheets? If you see the name of the file that is video one group. So in bracket groups mean that the sheets are selected. Now only thing is you have to select the sheets, whichever formatting you want, you just do that. Now, for example, I'll select A1 to A10 in any sheet which I've selected and I'll just color it with yellow background. So I'll just select this A1 to A10 and I'll color with yellow background. Now that is the only thing I've done. Now if I go to any other sheet, I'll first come out of the sheet, I'll click on formulae. Now I'll go to Feb, you can see that's A1 to A10, March A1 to A10, April, May, June. So all the sheets which I've selected are been colored now. So whatever formatting you do in one sheet after grouping, all the sheets will be colored. Now I'll just give you one more example. Now I'll select all the five sheets Jan to June by pressing, I've kept my cursor in Feb, press shift key and click on June. So I've selected again five sheets and you see there's a group now. Now what I'll do is I'll type any name in this place in cell number D1. I'll type here name as Ronnie India. That's it. So I've just typed a name and I'll just make it bold, italic, underline and some other background. Hello. And I'll increase the height of this font size. So what I've done is selected all the sheets, written something in this place, formatted that data and I'll just keep on jumping to any other sheet. So I'll go to formulas. Again, I'll come back to Feb, March, April, May, June. So you see all the sheets, the data has been copied. So now it has become very easy. What you have to do is you have to select all the sheets and keep on doing the formatting. So this is the method by which you can use for formatting. So you can save a lot of time in this place. So I hope you understood how to formatting worksheets after grouping itself. So now in this video, we have seen how to work with a worksheet, insert, delete, copy, rename, move and format a worksheet. That's all.